Hello friends, this video on Water Appreciates Resource Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So looking at all these um, things like depletion of water table, scarcity of water, it is very important for all of us to understand that it is high time that we should start saving water. We need to take care of water because the sources of water is limited. But if we keep on utilizing that limited source of water in the, like this way, in that case, a day will come when there will be no water left on the earth. So it is very important to start saving water. Now, since I was talking about the water management techniques, that is how can we manage water in a better way? So I'll give you some examples which show that yes, there are situations where water can be managed in a better way. So one such example is the drip irrigation technique. So just now I told you that the traditional method of uh, you know, irrigation that involves a lot of wastage of water. Because in traditional method, the farmer carries water from a well in a big uh, pot and then while carrying that water, a lot of water will fall down. In fact, the amount of water which is needed by the plant will end up pouring a lot more water on that. So that means we will uh, waste a lot of water. But with this drip irrigation technique, you see the water that reaches the plants is what is only that much which is needed by the plant. So just look at this. So let's say this is your agricultural field and then you have pipelines like this and water flows through these pipes. Okay, so you see here a boring is done where water is fetched from below the ground. So water will be fetched, a motor is there which helps in uh, pumping the water from below the ground. So the ground water will be received here and then this ground water will be supplied to the field through these pipelines. So you see you have a main line and from these main, this main line you have sub main lines like this. So from one main line, the red line is the main line. From there you will have sub lines which are which will be in blue colored. Many such sub lines will be there. And from these sub lines you have a lot of you know droppers. You see these these structures they are called droppers so you see a lot of droppers and one dropper is present below each plant so from this dropper drizzle of water or you know like water will fall drop wise near the roots of the plants so when you provide water drop wise you are not providing any extra water at the same time it is not that the plants will dry up because it is continuously getting some amount of water so in small small amounts you are continuously providing water to the plants so that way there is no wastage in transporting water from one place to another so this is a very judicial way of irrigating the field so this technique is called drip irrigation technique so in this way we are doing irrigation at the same time we are saving water so these kind of techniques are termed as water management techniques so we should innovate every day and we should try to find out solutions how we can utilize water in the best possible way another example of water management technique is the rain water harvesting now, as i said that rain water is a very important source of water so how can we utilize the rain water at its best because we see that a lot of rain water gets just wasted so as I said, due to construction of buildings, roads, pavements, it is not always possible for most of the rain water to refill the ground water because they are not even able to reach below the ground. So a lot of rain water, you know, just they keep flowing here and there and they get wasted. So what we can do is we can accumulate the rain water for reuse. Now a lot of buildings these days, in fact most of the apartments and societies and buildings these days, they have rain water harvesting system within their campus. So with this rain water harvesting system, what they do is they collect all the rain water and they, all that rain water is stored in a reservoir. And then this water is filtered so that it can be cleaned and then that clean water is yeah, utilized by the various buildings. So you look at this. So the, when rainfall happens, so this is a cemented area, right? So from here, obviously, it will not go below the soil. So it will not add to the groundwater. So from here, you have a pipeline through which you collect all the rainwater in this rainwater storage. And then this rainwater storage, is to, the rainwater is filtered through a sand filter and then it is put into the main tank. So every building will have a main tank and from this main tank you have a pump which will help to you know pump up the water from the tank to the tank which is present inside your house. 
Correct. So from this tank, you get it in the ground floor, first floor, second floor, wherever you go. So basically, you are storing the rainwater, and the same water is being reused. So that is also this is also a very nice water management technique, and it is nice to know that these days we have these kind of water rainwater harvesters in a lot of places, in a lot of buildings, especially in the cities, they have this rainwater harvester because this is very very urgent and important. Now let us quickly look at some of the tips uh, to save water. What can we do from our end to save water? Now some of the small things which we can do are do not leave taps open when not in use. Now if, if you have opened the tap for maybe washing your utensils, washing your hands, washing your face, so just do it and then immediately close the tap so that you do not end up wasting extra water. Use full loads in washing machine. So when you put your clothes in the washing machine, so Many a times it happens that people put just two, three clothes and then they, you know, switch on the washing machine. Now, whether you are putting small number of clothes or you are putting it in full loads, the amount of water which gets used by the washing machine remains almost the same. So it is better to use the washing machine in full loads so that you are judiciously being able to use water. Check for leakage in pipes at your home and locality. Now, this is again very important. A lot of times it happens that maybe our tap is leaking. Maybe there is a pipe in the kitchen which is leaking. And since drop by drop water is leaking from that pipe, we feel that okay, that's okay. It is just a drop of water coming out of it. But we don't realize that when a single drop of water is leaking all the time, so it actually adds up to a huge amount of water. So with each drop, we are actually, you know, wasting more and more water. So leakage should be checked at the early Earliest. And this is a very common problem in a lot of household as well as in a lot of locality. In many localities, it is seen that the main water pipelines, they have leakage. In a lot of places, in fact, in big cities like Bangalore itself, I have seen uh, so many times that tankers which carry water from one place to another, so they, there is a huge leakage in the tanker and as they move on the roads, so water keeps leaking from those tankers. So the, all these things are like because of our negligence. So we should put a check on uh, any kind of leakage in any pipes in our home as well as locality. Use a watering can in your garden. Now, in order to water the plants in your garden, there are various ways. You can either use a hose pipe, which has a you know wider mouth, and then you can put water on the plants. But in that case, a lot of water will be given to each of the plants. Maybe it, the amount of water which is needed by the plants, more than that will be given by your pipe. So it is always advisable to use a watering can because the watering can will have holes on it and therefore it will give water in drizzles. It will give drop-wise water. So it will not lead to wastage of water. So only that much of water will be given to the plants as is needed by them. So usage of a watering can can also save a lot of water. Use water efficient shower heads, toilets, taps, etc. So these days with advancement in technology, a lot of uh, uh, shower heads have come up which utilizes water uh, at its best. So they do not just pour so much of water at a time. So small amount of water is being poured once at a time. So that means it is more water efficient. So we should, sp I mean, maybe... Uh, Putting, buying these kind of water efficient the taps or shower heads might sound costly at the initial time, but you know, over the long run, it is more effective and it is more efficient as well. So these are some of the things which we can do from our end. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.